This is the Kogan XT901 Zero. This TV is an Android TV built in with OLED Kogan Edition. Also, it's an Android TV, Google Assistant, Netflix, Chromecast, HDMI, and it's HDR 4K. So we're doing this whole unboxing now. One thing we didn't think of when we um, got this unboxed is Kogan have been nice enough to put it in another box. That's going to create a bit of a shoe to get it out. So we're going to get into all that great stuff and let's tell you all the great features with this TV before we unbox it. So the main key features with this particular TV, it's a Kogan TV, it's Android TV, it's QLED, it's a smart TV, it's HDR 4K and it's got everything. It's got, this is going to be a pretty good unboxing and hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea if you want to grab a TV like this. Now it's uh, officially for everyone on the 22nd of July. It'll be available on the Kogan website. You can pre-order right now um, and you can get one and they'll be delivered from the 20, 21st of July. So let's unbox it and get into the box and see what we need. So let's get into the box and see what's there. So we're going to pull the top bit off first and hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. And now we're going to open this box and show you what's in there. Okay, so now let's unbox the top of it and see what we get at the top. Probably should have cut that actually. Looks like we've got the bottom of the TV. Here your stands are. Oh, can you see that? That's the stand. And the other stand is in a clear plastic, which is a bit of dark. There we go. Now let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so we'll chuck this away. So we've got the TV. More of this. What else do we have? So it seems from here, we actually have to lift it out. Now it won't be on any... We'll get this out first. And you've got a manual. You've got your screws for the um, stand. You've got your remote. And we'll have a look at all that good stuff very soon. We'll have to get this TV out first. And that's the reason it won't come out. Now it should just lift on out. That's everything in the box. Let's knead it all up and let's see what else is in the box. Well, what we got out of the box. All right, guys, so we've finally unboxed everything and the TV is right there. As you can see, I'm in the reflection. So let's actually open what was in here. And also we've got the stand right here. It's, we won't be using the stand, but this is the stand. Um, right there, that's one of them. And there the other one is right here. Okay, now let's open up the package and see what we get inside. So the first thing we're going to look at is the Kogan remote. Now they've definitely improved the Kogan remote a little bit. So basically they've added the uh, new voice uh, feature. They've always had YouTube and Netflix here if you bought a Kogan TV. But I find the buttons are more premium. Um, when you used to buy just the normal Kogan TV, so very, they used to make a lot of noise. Um, but it looks like they have improved the remote quite a bit. Again, it doesn't really look much difference. 
And it'll be interesting if this is Bluetooth or wireless. I'm pretty sure um, it will be infrared, but that's the remote. Also, we've got a Kogan pamphlet, so you can have a look at their latest deals. Now, this shows you how to set up the TV, which I'm gonna show you how to do that, set all that up. Now, again, I won't be doing the stand. We're gonna put it on the wall mount, mount on the wall there. Also, you've got the manual right here. And this will just show you how everything works. Just like that. And if you needed to put any notes down, you have notes here as well. That's the manual. Also, if you wanna use some of these old cables, you can. Um, and they just plug in via a headphone jack on the back of the TV. And lastly, we've got our power right here. And our warranty information. And two more things. We have the screws for the um, stand, which we will not be using. And we have the batteries for the remote. All right, guys, so now let's show you all the ports. Inside of the TV, we've got a LAN connection, three HDMIs, an antenna, two H um, um, USB 2.0 ports. Also, we've got the AV connector for that cable we had, which is this one. That one right there. Also, um, above that, we've got a headphone jack, and we've also got our Adobe Digital Audio port right there. Now let's flip the TV around and show you what's on the other side. Nothing too interesting is the power. And then down here, we've got all the, how much power it's using, what it supports. So as you see, it's Adobe Digital, it um, supports right there. And all that great stuff. And it uses 135 watts an hour. So now let's um, basically um, show you the front of the TV and then we'll put it on the wall. It has Adobe Audio just down the bottom here. Adobe Audio, that's this massive bar. So it's like a big sound bar. We'll test out the audio, how good that is. Also, you've got your energy rating right there, so it gives you a bit of an idea um, how energy efficient it is. It's not as good, but my other Kogan TV was a little better, but this one does have more features. So that's the front of it. We do apologize about that glare. Now let's get it up on the wall and show you what it all looks like. Now it's setup time. So before we get started, let's just peel off all the tape on the top and then we'll boot up the TV. Let's get into it. So it's actually making some noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's playing some sort of music. That's very interesting. Okay, and as you see, we've got the Google boot up. Now, 
And that's actually playing some music as well. I don't know how well you guys can hear this. Okay, now it's stopped. I'll turn the sound bar on. Okay, so now we've got the uh, setup. So we've got English. Now we're just gonna go find Australia. And as you see, it makes a bit of a noise here. Yep, so we are using internet. And now we just need to sign into the Google account. Let's just quickly do that. And then we'll be right back. And I believe we should be able to use our computer or phone. All right, so we'll just quickly whack that address in and we'll be right back. So what we wanna actually do is just um, go to that site and just type in the code. So that will be 744946. Um, let's do that and let's see what the next step is. Accept and get through all this. Now, you've got the option to use a location. We're gonna hit yes. Um, we'll hit yes to that too. Now we've got the Google Assistant um, feature. So let's get that all set up. And yep. And we'll turn that on, yes. And now what do we wanna call it? We're gonna call it the uh, living room. Okay, and this is gonna show us a few um, setup options to see. It's got Google Play. We can easily skip through this and talk to your Google Assistant. Uh, connect or oh, cast your phone. And this is going to be like an entertainment guide. We're going to show you exactly how to get to that. Then you got your home channels. Uh, we'll check all that out. Yep, then we've got that Google button down the bottom. Okay, so that's all that. Now we need to put a password. I wonder why we need to do that. So a new password. Now this can be a number key. What could, so we're just gonna randomly put a number key here. Um, I'm hoping we can just go one, two, three, four, just for now. If it allows us to do that, that'll be awesome. Okay, so we've got a selected mode, so it's going to be home. Um, yes, we want that on. Um, depending if you want your Chromecast on, we're going to hit on. Uh, we don't have a free to wear, that's all done through fetch, so we'll skip. Okay, and I believe that is done. We are completely set up. Okay, so that was rather easy and very easy to do. Okay, so as you see, we've got preloaded apps here. It looks like we've got uh, Netflix, Steam, Amazon Prime, Nine Now, um, all these great apps right here. And also we've got the Play Store, which we're gonna take a little look at. So now let's um, have a look at the full Android experience and basically um, let's check how it all works. Now, first of all, we're just gonna go to this one at the top because I'm not too sure what that's about. Okay, so that's about an update. So what we'll do, we'll get that update done and we'll come back and um, we'll show you everything on the Android TV. Good day guys, we're back a day later. So we made it a day later because we did a bit of a test. So we wanted to make sure everything worked well. Netflix, Stand, Amazon Prime, Nine Now, all that great stuff, how well it performed. And I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. It really does what um, Kogan says it does. Um, the uh, QLED features, it just brings the brightness out of the, I've never actually been, watched a movie and had it so bright. It's really great. And if you ever get um, one of these TVs, you'll know what I'm talking about. It, it's really cool. Even the um, Google Assistant, that works really great as well. And um, you can tell it to change your HDMI, change the volume, uh, do all that great stuff. Works really great. You can ask it the temperature and all that cool stuff. So we're gonna show you a few cool little things with it. Um, now everything is booted up. Some key little features that you might want to have a look at. Also, we'll have a look at the Play Store and the navigation menu. Now, first of all, we'll just tell you how you pair. So this is actually Bluetooth, not, it is at first infrared, but then it becomes a Bluetooth remote. Now, how to use Bluetooth. 
it should have to be less than a meter away. And normally to get this prompt to come up, you hit the Google Assistant button right here, and then you hit um, the arrow, and you hit the minus button, and hold that down for about 30 seconds, and it will connect to Bluetooth. Okay, so when you've done that, it will now work on Bluetooth. So you can point the remote wherever you want, and it will use Bluetooth. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the uh, menu. So here you've got all your apps. So you can scroll through all the applications that you have installed. Um, you can even have a VPN on here if you want to have extra security, which works pretty good as well. So what you can do from here is you can hit apps. So you can click at all your apps list. If you want to get more apps, you can get more apps right there. Games right there as well. Also, if you want to edit what's on the home page, what you can do here is hit the plus. And just say there's an application that isn't on the home page, you can add one of those here. And another thing you can do is if you hold down by clicking the middle button here, you can actually move applications. So for example, just say we want Disney Plus at the front page, click on more, move, and then you can move it to the front. Then you've got play next. So whatever you've recently been watching, it's gonna show up right here and you can start watching that. As you see, I've been watching a bit of stand as well. Um, then you've got your YouTube, recommended. Then you've got um, your movie stores. So basically, whatever you want to rent through Google Play Movies, you can do that here as well. Then you've got featured. Again, you're going to get more YouTube stuff. Um, so you're going to get trending. Um, now you're going to have the best selling TV shows on uh, Play Movie, Play TV shows. Then you've got Nine Now catch up with all the nine now. Now you can remove this stuff. If you don't want to see half of this stuff, um, I will show you how to edit that. So what you want to do is go right down to the bottom and you want to customize it. Now this will allow you to turn off certain things. So just say you're sick of, uh, for example, nine now popping up. You can just click on that and it will turn it off. Okay, so that is something you can do and um, turn all that off right there. So you just um, do that and that will turn it off. But we'll leave that on for now. Also, you've got featured applications, so Disney Plus, 7 Plus, all that great stuff here. Now, one disappointing thing that this particular TV didn't have, actually probably all Android TVs don't have, is the Apple TV Plus app. Now, I have, I'm a member with Apple TV Plus, and they don't have the application, which is a little disappointing. You can't watch that content um, on this particular TV. But everything else is on here, like you've got Foxtel, Binge, you've got, you name it, basically everything. So now that's basically the homepage. Let's open up the Play Store. So that shouldn't take too long to open. So under Play Store, you've got your entertainment. So as you see, you've got Disney Plus, Tubi TV, uh, Stand, 7 Plus, all that great stuff. But if you go down to the bottom, recommended for you, you're gonna see you've got KO Sport. You've got... Um, Spotify, you've got Foxtel, so you can actually watch Foxtel on here. So you can either do this through multi-room with your Foxtel account or Foxtel now. Which is pretty cool, they do have Foxtel supported. So that's one, if you want Foxtel on your smart TV, this will do it. And then if we go down a little bit more, you've got our movies plus TV shows. So if you've got your own Plex server, you can download the Plex app. And we can do a bunch of other stuff. And if we scroll down a little bit more, You've got entertainment apps, but I find the best area to go to is go to app category and go to entertainment. And this will show you all the entertainment apps like, as you see, Disney Plus, Nine Now, um, Seven Plus, Binge, ABC iView, SBS On Demand, Stan, Ten Play, Foxtel, 2B TV. Um, you've got everything. So basically, this, this actually gets rid of all your streaming boxes. You don't really need a streaming box with this particular TV. The other reason you may need one if you're a Fetch, um, there's no Fetch TV app on here. Um, so yeah, if you are a Fetch customer, you, you still do need a streaming box with that. But yeah, there's quite a lot of apps and um, yeah, just wanted to show you that right there. You've got Amazon Prime, Netflix, all that great stuff. Uh, so let's get back out of all that. And then that's basically everything in the Play Store. Now let's show you a bit more features with this. So what you can do, a little cool little feature you can hit, is it's three little lines on the remote right here. If you click on that, now we actually have to open it. So if we switch HDMI's, first of all, we'll just show you the Google Assistant and then we'll show you that little feature. 
talking about. So if you hold down the, or just tap the little Google Assistant button. What's the temperature in Port Douglas? Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, so that one got a bit confused. We'll try that again. What's the temperature in Port Douglas? Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, it actually did work yesterday. What's the weather in Port Douglas? So it seems to be confused. It actually did work on this command yesterday. So it's a bit interesting it doesn't understand today. So let's try that again, back out. Let's try that one more time. What's the weather in Port Douglas? Very interesting that it, um, it's not doing anything. Okay, that worked 100% yesterday, I assure you, because I actually asked that exact command. What we'll do, we'll try it again, I just won't say the location. Uh, it's getting a little confused. So normally, you can normally tell it any location and it will tell you the exact temperature. But it does not want to listen to that command. So let's just try this one, um, one last time. What's the temperature? The temperature in Melbourne right now is 13 degrees. Okay, so that worked. Uh, it's getting confused if we say a location, which is bizarre. What's the temperature in Port Douglas? In Port Douglas, it's currently 25 degrees. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty damn sure I said that exact command a couple of seconds ago, and it couldn't, it didn't understand what I was talking about. Very interesting. Now it can easily tell me the temperature. Hmm, don't know why it was doing that, but yes, <laughs> that's um, very interesting right there. Okay, so that's done, that's worked. Now let's go over to the Xbox. So I believe that is, now if you click on the input button, it actually tells you what HDMI is active, which is really cool. And you don't do it like that, I'll show you actually. You go back to here and you click on the input button here. If you click on this one, it tells you which ones are active. So as you see, AV isn't active, but all of these are. So let's go to HDMI one. Okay, cool. Now let's ask it a few prompts. Well, first of all, I wanted to show you that setting by clicking the three lines. So click on the three lines here. And this gives you a bit of an idea on how to change a few settings. So you've got, uh, this won't be any sense for us. So you've got info. Um, I think, believe we can enter the info. But we don't want to do that. We'll just back out of that. But if you hit the three lines, you've got your picture mode. So by going to picture mode, you can put it on anything right here. So you can uh, leave it on automatic, you can go to full. Uh, now, if you do change it, so just say we change it to uh, 14 by nine, it will change um, the basically how you see it on the screen. So if you did want to change some pink, you can do that easily by going to picture mode. We'll just put that back to automatic. Also, if we click on that again, you've got the speakers, so you can change how that works. We'll leave that there. You've got your power. So depending if you want it to turn off if there's no signal, I've got that turned on. Um, you can do a few other things there. Also, if you click that again, you've got your um, advanced options. And this will allow you to do a few things. And also you've got your settings. So you can open your general settings from there. Now also, if you, don't, you didn't want to go through all that jazz right there, you can just click on the settings button by doing this. And that will take you to sound and picture. So you can do it that way as well. So it works really well. And also if we, I'll just show you one more thing with the Google Assistant. If we click on that again. Change to HDMI 2. Now I believe that's, there you go, that's the Xbox. So very easy to do, and that's how easy this Android TV is to use. Um, so I'll have the link down below if you want to check it out. 
Again, it's available on the 21st of July, so if you want to get one, um, let us, yeah, you can have a look at that. And um, yeah, um, let us know what you think about this review. If you found it helpful, let us know down below. And thanks again for watching 72T.